Thank you, Brother Star. What a joy it is to be bringing you this action week after week. The best in professional wrestling, extreme coastal championship wrestling, and we are in your face, my brother. I'll tell you what, Reverend Slim, we've seen a lot of things happen last week. We've seen Ricky Noble reverse the decision over you. So now he comes out in the winner's column over you. We all seen the return of one big Mack truck last week. How about that? I tell you what, the fans seen it, the peoples at home seen it. Everybody knows who won that match. They seen who got the three count, and it wasn't that Alfred E. Newman, Ricky Noble. That brother has gone sour. He's done a complete turnaround, and it saddens my heart to see a fan favorite like that turn to the dogs. I tell you what, Reverend Slim, you're exactly right, but we've got one exciting, action-packed show for these fans here tonight for ECCW. I, I tell you what, Reverend Slim, we know for a fact Dan Dollar was, was a protege of yours. And I tell you what, being a fan of yours for, for most of my life, I, I can see a lot of you in him and his wrestling ability. Incredible young talent right here. This man is, he is famed for fortune right here. On his way to the top in Extreme Coastal Championship Wrestling, competes all over the Mid-Atlantic area. Well, you're exactly right, Reverend Slim. We got a light heavyweight title match, and nothing would please Danny Dollar more than to walk away with that light heavyweight title. He would be a fine champion. But he's got some uh, work in store for him here against the spoiled brand and over the top rope. Come on in here, Willie Well. It's time to boogie, baby. Already a fast start to the match. These, that's one thing that impresses me about these light heavyweight Trevor Slim. They get in there and they go to town. Well-conditioned athletes on top of their game. Great cardiovascular right here, and Willie Wealth is uh, worse for the wear here as he takes a powder. William Wealth outside the ring. So it does good, uh, Lance Starr, to take a powder once in a while. Like some of your great quarterbacks, instead of taking a hit, they'll take uh, they'll go ahead and go out of bounds, you know, to kind of save themselves to go again at the next play. I'll tell you what, Reverend Slim, you're exactly right. I mean, I'm sure you being a former champion yourself, being a former ECCW heavyweight champion, being a champion in nearly every organization that you competed in, you know the, I'm sure, the shortcuts that it takes to, to maintain that title. I've been on that same road that Ricky Noble's been on, brother, and I'm here to tell him, it ain't no bed of roses. It's a lonely, dark road when you got all these people against you. Ain't nothing like the fan support around here, especially here in Caldwell County. Well, you're right, Reverend Slim. We are here in the wrestling capital of the South, Caldwell County. We're right here at Patterson, North Carolina. Right now, we've got exciting light heavyweight action. William Wells III here is going to have to he's taking over control over this Danny Dollar. Danny Dollar is a is an up-and-coming star in wrestling. And I tell you what, 
Dan Dar is desperate for gold. Lance Star, where else can you find this gallery of talent? I'm going to tell you where you can find it. Nowhere but right here in ECCW. The cream of the crop, the best of the best, second to none, bar none. This is the best promotion running in the South. Uh, now, now they're going trade, trade blows there. And going at it fist to fire right here, and Danny Dollar getting the upper hand here. We and will. Oh. William West coming out on the short oh, of that. A, li a little boogaloo here going here. And Danny Dolan continues to work on the champion. Picking him up by the hair of the head. Comes across with a big body slam. And Danny Dollar for the ride. Big elbow smash. We may have a winner right here, Lance Star. Count of two. This, this referee, Tom Swarford, one of the new referees here in ECCW. Uh, you've got to give these officials, Raven Slim. They're, they know what they're doing. They're, they're taking care of being in the ring. A lot of fresh faces here in our company, and it's growing, Lance Star. I mean, the talent here is great. The uh, personnel is great. I'm just so thrilled to be a part of it. The electricity is so thick, you can cut it with a knife, my brother. And we're thrilled to have you here with us, Raven Slim, and thrilled to have you here with me at the announcer's table tonight. I thank you, my brother. What a joy it is. What a privilege it is to bring you ECCW into your living room each and every week right here. Tell you what, right now, William Wells, if he wants to maintain that title, he's going to have to do something right here. But right now, you know, time, the time's on the side of William Wells. Covered by Danny Dollar and only a count of two. Yes, Time, time's on the side here of William Wells because Danny Dollar has got to beat him for that title. And Double D now getting his second win. Starts to stalk the champion. Big right hand to the top of the head. Big vicious chop, knife edge chop. There's a little reverence slam going for you there, my brother. Exactly right. Like I said, well, I can see a lot of Danny Dollar in you. A lot of you in oh, Danny Dollar, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. He's going to wrap him up now. You've never seen Trevor Slim do this, Lance Star. He's got Willie Wealth all tied up in the ropes of Tarantula, if you will. And Danny Dollar going up top. High-risk maneuver, my brother. He can shake the foundation with this right here. Oh, my goodness. A tall jack of some sort. And Willie Wealth, once again, is your ECCW light heavyweight champion, Lance Star. I'll tell you what. Raven Slim, that shows you the mark of a champion. That shows you the mark of a veteran in the ring. You take, not taking nothing away from Danny Dollar. Danny Dollar is a tremendous young talent. Going to go far here in ECCW. Give but Danny you, Dollar an A for effort because he hung in there tip for tap, toe to toe. I'll tell you what, but, but you've got a man, William Wells III, he's still, like him or not, Raven Slim, he's still the light heavyweight champion of the world. Amen to that, brother. Amen to that. We'll be back right after this message from our sponsor. Don't you go away. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in the rocker room once again with one of our champions here at ECCW. This is our light heavyweight champion, William Welt, and we're going to hear how things are on the rich and famous side from William Welt. Well, Wendy, let me start by saying William Wealth is not just a person. William Wealth is a lifestyle. And to live that lifestyle is to live one of glory. Have no pain, no hardship, and of course, no competition. Because you see, I have defeated the best ECCW has to offer as far as the light heavyweights go. I have defeated Nick Fury, I have defeated Lightning, and I have defeated Danny Dollar. And you know, Come to think of it, my 21st birthday's coming up. And do you know what I told my dad I wanted? What's that? An exotic dancer. And you know, my father's always said I could have whatever I want, and I want an exotic dancer. So, on my 21st birthday, not only will I have the gold, but I will have the women. Ladies and gentlemen, you hear it here from William Welt at ECCW, and it sounds like he's going to be really hard to beat. We're here in the back of the locker room at the ECCW wrestling show, and we're welcoming you back Big Mac Truck. That's right, Wendy. I'm back here in ECCW. You know, I was sitting at home watching my favorite show on TV, Scooby-Doo, when 
Yeah, that's right, Scooby-Doo. You got something to say about it? Scooby-Doo, when, when my phone rang, I answered the phone, and it was Tommy Gunn on the phone. Tommy said, man, I need somebody here to watch my bag. Ricky Noble and his band of thugs are running roughshod over ECCW. They've done put Bill Mudd in the hospital, and now and they've attacked me one-on-one, two-on-one, three-on-one. He said, I need somebody to watch my back, Mac. And I was thinking of someone, and I could think of you because you know how to fight, Mac. I said, you darn right I know how to fight, brother. And if there's anybody I hate worse in, in the sport of wrestling than Ricky Noble, I can't think of him, buddy. So I, I'll tell you what. I'll watch you back, brother. I'll watch you back. <laughs> Just like last week, brother, we took out Kenny V and Abel Adams for you, brother. And that, that is the way it stands. Let me tell you something. Now I'm back here in ECCW and Ricky Noble. I didn't get the job done everywhere else we've been. But, brother, here I will get the job done. So when you take that ride down the highway to hell, brother, you are going to get hit by a Mack truck. And that's the gospel. Wendy, I don't really smell like he said I do, do I? <laughs> Hello, good friends and neighbors. I am the good Reverend Slim. I'm on assignment here for Extreme Coastal Championship Wrestler, and I'm talking today with the former heavyweight champion of the world, Big Bill Mudd. Brother, I, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to see things happen the way they happen. You know, you've been dealt a pretty bad hand of health here of late, and uh, the fans want to know, myself, uh, the Big Bill Mudd fans want to know, has your career ended as uh, fast as it's took off? I mean, we want to know, is, is there wrestling in the future for our former heavyweight champion? Yes, Reverend Slim, there is. I've just been injured and uh, need a little time to recuperate. And uh, I plan on coming back and taking care of business. And I know my fans is behind me, and i like to apologize for that. But uh, I will be back to kick butt again. You know, our thoughts and prayers are with you. You're just a man that's out here trying to make a living for his family. Good family man, good wholesome man. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best of luck, my brother. May God be with you. Hallelujah. I'm Reverend Slim. This is ECCW on assignment. Wrestling fans, we're back here with ECCW here at Patterson, North Carolina. And right now we have got a match coming up. It's one actual night. Another up-and-coming young line here in ECW, Reverend Slim. The talent here is just so overwhelming, Lance Starr. I hate to keep harping on it, but you won't find this talent nowhere. Lance Starr, I'd like to give props to our lovely young uh, ring announcer, Ms. Wendy Tucker. She's done an excellent job with our promotion. Well, you're exactly right, Reverend Slim. All the people on the ECW staff do an excellent job. They know what to do in their profession. Well, we're in a class all by ourselves, Lance Star. Extreme Coastal Championship Wrestling. It's getting bigger and better every week. Oh, you're right, Reverend Slim. I mean, ECCW is growing. We're growing by leaps and bounds. We're expanding in South Carolina. And look who we have here. We 265 got... pounds of twisted and steel and sex appeal. Oh, glory. Back trucks in the house. This ought to prove to be a very good match. Now this, this actual night fluctuates between light heavyweight and heavyweight from week to week. And he's an excellent competitor. Matt Trump's gonna have his hands full enough. I had my opportunity to compete against Brother Axel Knight in Cleveland County here about a week ago, and he is a tremendous talent. Don't sell him short against the Big Mac truck now. You're exactly right. All these athletes here in ECW are very, very excellent wrestlers, very talented wrestlers. But you've got a man here, Big Mac Truck, and you wrestle both these men. Horsemanship here as they uh, shake hands. And Mac Truck showing his power, pushes off. The uh, crowd here is uh, kind of split down the middle. I hear some cheers for Axel Knight and some cheers for Big Mac Truck. Say what, this is this is destined to be mainly probably a scientific match, but as you said, we said a while ago, I mean, you take a, a man the size of Mac Truck. 265 pounds, nearly seven foot tall. And can move for a big man, Lance Star. Axel Knight for the right big, high back body drop. Truck a measuring this man, arm drag. And staying with the arm here is Big Mac Truck. That's what it's all about, Reverend Slim, picking the body part, staying with it. You work your man down, you wear him out. We both know from being in the ring and active competition, we both know that's what you gotta do. 
Weakening that arm now, working on the left arm of Axel Knight. And here comes Mack Truck with a knife edge chop. Measuring Axel Knight again, another knife edge chop. Shoots him across for the ride. Oh, runs right into a face full of elbow. And Axel Knight with a, some sort of a bulldog. We may have a winner here. Count of two, Mack Truck powering right out. Well, he's not He's not going to pin Big Mack Truck like that, Red no. Slim. No, sir. Anything can happen here at ECCW. A big elbow coming off the second. Like I said, Mack Truck, he can move for a big man. 265, nearly seven foot tall. Not taking nothing away from Axel Knight. Axel Knight's young. He's just been in, I think it may, it'd be his second year in wrestling. Matt Truck's a veteran, knows what he's doing in the ring. A legitimate contender for the heavyweight title. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've got a lot of great contenders with Tommy Gunn. And uh, I want to say right now, uh, our, thoughts, our thoughts and prayers are still with Brother Bill Mudd. I know I've had my differences with him in the past. Uh, I've been down the aisle uh, with the man. I've been down the aisle against the man, but he's a family man. All he's doing is making a living for his family. And these thugs at Alfred E. Newman, Ricky Noble, that pugsley looking uh, Kenny Varner and that cousin Ed Abel Adams, it just, uh, just tears me up, Lance Starr, to know what they did to this brother. Reverend Slim, I know that you had the occasion to talk to Big Bill Mudd recently, and I think that's going to be aired on this show on a pre-recorded interview. And uh, Don't you count our former world heavyweight champion out, Matt Star. He's not going to let this go unanswered. And Mack Truck going for the choke slam. He nailed him. It could be all over. And it is. Your winner of the match, Big Mack Truck. Van, this is Lance Starr back in with the Reverend Slim. And Reverend Slim, we have heavyweight title match right here tonight. We can only bring, you, bring it to you as only as we can. And we're waiting the arrival of our heavyweight champion of the world, Blake, as he gets ready to take on and defend his title against Kenny Varner. Reverend Slim, you've had a chance to go against Blade for the heavyweight title. What does Kenny Varner here tonight have to do? For one, he's going to have to take him off his feet, ground blade, keep blade off his feet, work on one part of the body. And uh, you hear the sounds and the sights of the heavyweight champion of the world making his way to the ring. I'm not familiar with this young lady with him, but she's a very attractive young lady. I believe her name is Sage. Sage. Oh, okay. We see Kenny Barnes got his, his compadre, Abel Adams, out here with him. This kind of wonder uh, where Abel Adams' thoughts is right now. If, if, if uh, worse got to worse, which side was he taking? Is he really with Kenny Varner or is he with the champion? Well, you're right about that, Raven Slim. All I mean, these boys are comrades here. Exactly right. Here we go. Mixed emotions ready to happen, yeah. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got, we've got heavyweight title action right here for the world heavyweight title. Blade best of the best right here. Blade defending against the self-proclaimed sexist man in pro wrestling, Kenny Varner. Believe you me, that is self-proclaimed, my brother. I mean, I ain't won no beauty contest myself, but this brother by far is the sexiest man in wrestling. Referee James Scott assigned to this contest. The heavyweight title on the line. Our senior referee, James Scott. Uh, Kenny Varner here right now, Ram Sim, can walk away with the heavyweight title. A title you held for five separate occasions. Yes, sir. It's lonely at the top. The pressure's off of you when you ain't got it, though. And you kind of miss that taste for gold. Believe you me, I miss it. Well, Reverend Slim, I'm sure it won't be no time at all until you're right back up there in contention for that heavyweight title. But I'm just tickled to be a part of this beloved com uh, promotion here there, Lance Starr. What a joy it is to be a part of it. A big vertical suplex by the champion, and he has Kenny Varner really on the outside. And 
he's going to regroup here a little bit, kind of get things together with his uh, comrade and Abel coming up on April. Abel Adams, a former world heavyweight champion, has said so he knows what it's like to be on top of this sport. Well, you're exactly right. The only man involved in this contest who has held the world title has been Kenny Barnes. Yep. There's a first time for everything, and that first time is the sweetest time. Well, you're right. But one thing about Kenny Barnard, Reverend, is this. Kenny Barnard has got a thirst for that, for that belt. He's got a hunger, and he wants that title real bad tonight. Just got him in the gotcha there, Lance Starr, as he's trying to make his way. And Blade, with a big right hand, startles the challenger, and he goes down, crashing to the canvas. And the champion going right to those uh, illegal tactics, going right to the throat area. Big body slam by the champion now as he continues to work on the challenger. I tell you, this guy Blade is really put together, Ray Slim. I mean, man. strong, powerful man. And, you know, you really don't have to resort to these illegal tactics. I mean, Blade's really a good scientific wrestler in his own right. You know but what? he likes to mix it up and brawl. Something I've seen here tonight, and I don't know if it's just me, but are these fans on, behind Blade tonight, Ray Slim? I mean, they sound like to me that they are behind Blade. These people here are, are having a, a mixed emotions to sell, you know, some are not too fond of either one of these men, so maybe they just hope they just uh, choke each other out and be done with it. What do you think, Lance? Well, that's very possible, Reverend Slim. That's very possible. And Abel Adams working on the champion. They're like two evil fiends going at it one time here. And Kenny Varner utilizing the ropes to choke out the champ. Reverend Slim, you're an ambassador now of goodwill, as you as you stated earlier that you were one time on the other side of the fence. You're now an ambassador of goodwill here in ECCW. And we can just all only imagine what you're going through right now watching these guys contend for a title that you once held. Well, our company right now has been led by the devil himself, old watchable one Ricky Noble. And what he did to me, what he did to you, was just... Uh, just irate, just irates me, just furiates me. For the fans that don't know what we're talking about, two weeks ago, I lost the office of Commissioner Reverend Slim. You've seen it. All the fans who were watching saw it, saw what happened, uh, bent down to pick up the microphone was horrendously DDT. Pearl Harvard. Pearl Harvard, exactly right. That's the term. Uh, you know what? But have a dog has a stay, Lance. Tom. Myself and Ricky Noble, we're not through either, Reverend Slim. One, one day... I may don the tights again and step in the ring with Ricky over myself. I'll be looking forward to that, my brother. If Kenny Barney I'd going. Ho I ho I'm going to be getting me a ringside seat when that happens. Well, I definitely appreciate that. justice has got to come forward. We shall overcome. Freedom must ring once again in ECCW. You're exactly right, Reverend Slim. Kenny Barney here going in, takes Blade in for the ride, charging nobody home. And Blade scooping him up. Almost a three there, and Kenny Varner right back on the champion. And Kenny Varner, he don't believe in the word quit. They want both these men are well-conditioned athletes. I'm glad to see Kenny Varner getting his shot at greatness here. And it looks like the Death Valley driver. Blade set him up for it. And here Blade comes it. Abel Adams. What's this could have been a three. What's well, here comes Dr. Feelgood. What in the world is going What's on? What's Dr. Right Feelgood doing out here? And feel good, scooping up the champion. Oh, my goodness. Good night. Did you see what that, happened? That there went a couple of broken ribs. And, oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, don't let this happen. Lance Starr, we have a new heavyweight champion. And here, here comes, comes the commissioner. Oh, floppy ears himself. Now what's going on? And it looks like they've turned their back on the cha uh, former champion. And Sage is helpless out there at ringside, and they continue to unload the heavy artillery on the former heavyweight champ. We got a new champion here, and they're going to try to injure Blade. Blade oh, here comes Tommy Gunn. Here comes Mack Truck. All hell's about to break loose here. And they get the commissioner. Get that weasel. And Mack Truck and Tommy Gunn trying to clear house. They're calling for a clear house. Rev Slim, what in the world is going on? Oh, oh, hell is broken loose, my I brother. I don't know what to do here. James Scott's going to have to get some time. We're going to have to get some auto restored here. It's breaking loose. 
And it looks like the commissioner is having his way. Here's Bill Mudd! Here's Bill, Bill Mudd! Big Bill Mudd! Big Bill Mudd! He's back! Oh, He's my waiting. God! He's waiting! Abel Adams! Take the back of him! Bill Mudd! He's here! He's here! Doc Fielgood! Get you some of that, big boy! Turn around, Varner! You son of an unnamed goat! Get the commissioner! Bill Mudd is in the house, baby now! We haven't seen three months left in a row! Three and out! Take it out! Mudd is back! He is back! I'm losing my voice! Get that weasel, Ricky Noble! Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen a lot here happen tonight. We've seen the... Oh, oh, we gotta go! We've seen the new heavyweight champion crowd. You too! The King of Honor. King and of Honor. We've seen the new... We've seen the return. Bill oh, Mudd. Big Bill Mudd, Robert Slim. Bill Mudd is in the house. I tell you... ECCW is on fire. I'm losing my voice, Lance Star. Robert Slim. ECCW. Hallelujah. Is ready wide. What a job. Ten personal crowd. Be the name. Robert Slim, it's good to have you with us here. We're going to go right now. We're out of time. Right now we have Big Bill Mudd back in action. Oh, Red Star, I'm the good Reverend Slim. We'll see you next week. Ha!